So far we've seen one way to select elements from a DOM and that's using the get by selector. There are actually three selectors which you're going to use very commonly. They are get by, find by, and there's one more which is query by. And there's many different varieties. We've seen the text variety, but we're going to see this now role and a whole bunch of other ones as well. Before we jump in and see the different varieties, let's go ahead and see how get, find, and query work a little bit differently. Before we do that, I'm going to show you a little trick with this. Let's go ahead and delete the assertion and just keep the get by text selector here. And if we save this one off, of course the test is going to continue passing because we have that text in the DOM. Let's see what happens if we change this and save it off. Although we haven't got an assertion here, the test is actually going to fail. And this is one of the features of get by text. It is going to fail if it doesn't find the correct node. And it's even going to show you a visualization of the DOM and show you what does and doesn't exist. So this is actually kind of doing a test in a very implicit manner. Although we haven't written the assertion, this is going to fail the test if the element doesn't exist. I do prefer this one up here, I think it's more explicit. However, this does beg the question, how can you write an assertion to say something doesn't exist? And let's go ahead and see how you might do that. So let's go ahead and change this. I'm going to say ASDF, of course this is going to fail, and I'd like to make this test pass. Instead of using the query by text here, we can uh, get by text, sorry, we can use query by text. And what this is going to do is search, but we, let's look at, take, a, take a look at the return type. It's both HTML or null, as opposed to get by text, which is just HTML element. So this can return a null element, and that's going to allow us to write the opposite assertion, saying that this text does not exist. All I need to do now is say not to be in the document, save this one off, and this is going to pass. So the main difference between query by text and get by text is get by text is going to fail if it doesn't find the correct element and query by text is not. And we can go ahead and confirm that one more time just by looking at the return types. If I mouse over this, it has to be a HTML element. However, if we take a look at query by text, it can be both a HTML element and null. So what you generally want to do is use the get by text method. The only reason you really want to use query by text is if you're asserting something doesn't exist. Otherwise, you're going to go ahead and stick with the get by text. The reason for that is it's more clear and it's actually going to give you a nice output if your test go ahead, goes ahead and fails. There is one more we're going to talk about in the future, which is find by text. And this is actually asynchronous, which is one of the really nice features of testing library. And this solves one of the problems of view test utils where you normally would have to use next tick. We're going to go ahead and see that in the next lecture or perhaps the subsequent lecture and I'll see you there.